Hello friends, in this video we will solve the RSCSA exam question which will be asked in the 20 to 15 marks in the system 2. So without wasting your time, let's start this video. The question said that create a new swap partition of 5 to LM and make it active on the boot time. That means we need to create a swap partition of 5 to LM and it will be active on the boot time. Okay, when we restart it will be activated. So how to solve this? For that we need to check there is any swap partition is present in our system or not. So lsblk command helps to find the any partition which will be present in our system. So there is So there is one swap partition is our present in our system we need to create a new swap partition therefore we use a command md ah, before that we need to check in your question papers also give you the partition name like the slash div slash sdp for that before that we check the partition name which is present in our system fdx l command helps to find our partition which will be present in the system here we will make the partition the this name is the slash div slash sdb and this disk name is also given in your rscs exam question paper so do not think about that so we need to create the swap partition in that place for that the command is fdx slash tape slash stb <coughs> okay then for creating a partition n you can just type n and if you do not remember these commands you just type the m for the help here Sorry, first of all, you need to create uh, this all the steps because we already typed the n, that's why he does not get any commands. So, let's see. Uh, then he will ask p for primary, e for extended. We need to create a primary partition, that's why here you can just type the p. After that, he asks partition number. By default, it will get two number because in our partition, one partition is also. <coughs> In our system, there is a first number partition is present. That's why he by default get the two number. So I will just enter. Then he will ask the first sector. You can leave this first sector and just press the enter. Then he will ask the last sector. Here you mention the size of your swap partition. So question paper said that the size of the swap partition is the first 512 MB. So just you can type plus 512 512M M for MB, G for GB, T for TB. Okay. Then just you can type the enter. Then he will say that created a new partition to type Linux and resize it to 512 MIB. Okay. Then we need to give a type to this partition. For giving the type to this partition, T word is used then just type t he will get by default 2 hex code for alice type l to list all you remember a swap partition the hex code is always 82 and you can also check with the help of he can say that type l to list all just type l here all the hex code which is related to the file system or swap LVM. Here you can say that the swap partition hex code is the 82, Linux is the 83, extended is a 05. So just you can type 82 for the swap partition then please enter. Here he can say that change the type partition Linux to the Linux swap solaris. That means our partition type is the change. <coughs> then we want to write this partition on our disk that's why I am using here W. 
password for this then you just type the enter after that the partition table was been altered was been altered that means our disk is successfully write on our system that means our partition is created then just how to see our swap partition is created or not there is one command there is one command is the lsblk lsblk here you can see that sdp2 having the size 512 mb is also created in our system we can also need to find the part to command for the refreshing our system part to then another command is udv adam settle settle le then the next command is mk swap mk swap slash dev slash sdb two here is the path of your swap partition which will you find with the help of the fdx hyphen command after typing setting of your swap partition version one size of 512 mb this command is also successfully swap then you need <coughs> to available this swap on your boot time okay for that we have the command and you know that fstaf file helps to permanently mount the any swap partition or the partition to the particular folder so with the help of the vim command we can directly open this file fstaf here we mention our details which is related to the swap partition here the uuid of our swap partition is what and you can just mention here path also so i am just mention this path slash dev slash sdb one then the our path is what is the path and what is the mount point the mount point it also swap you can write as it is whatever i write here just you can keep in mind here is the path of your swap partition and you also remember in your rsc equation paper whatever you can mention the path which will be given in your rsc exam question paper this is a my system swap partition path so in your rsc exam this uh, this path will be given in your question paper so just you can change this path and in front of them data you can write as it is swap then the type is the swap also then defaults defaults then zero and then zero one two three four five six okay then you must to save this file with the help of the colon wq and exclamatory now for refreshing this file we use the command mount hyphen a okay then also we can use swap on hyphen a and then our equation is successfully solved and now the check part is how to check our swap partition is created or not for that we have the command lsblk <coughs> here you can see that sdb2 is our swap partition name having the size is the 512m like the question paper said that and it can be mounted on the this directory okay swap directory so after rebooting this swap partition is available on the boot time available on boot time means what you can mention the all details related to your partition in the fstep file fstep file works on the permanently mounting even after it the system is rebooted okay so friends this question it is also solved 
and you will get easily 12 to uh, 15 marks in this question and if you like this video please subscribe my channel